Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be walking you through three low calorie snack recipes. These are super awesome if you just want uh, something super sweet, but obviously without the extra calories. So the three that I'm gonna walk you through today, first one is gonna be a banana loaf. So each slice is literally only 100 calories, so you can eat a little bit more without feeling as guilty or just anyway, satisfy your cravings. The second one is gonna be a low calorie brownie. And then the last one is going to be a chocolate mug cake. So without further ado, let's get started. And I'll start off with the banana loaf first. Anyways, I don't plan ahead to make banana bread. I always end up having so much extra banana. So you can tell these are three bananas that are a little bit maybe overly ripe. But anyways, no fear. Let's actually pop them into a banana bread. So what you need is about a cup or a third cup of bananas or three to four really large bananas. And just mash them up and mix them really well. And I continue with the wet ingredients to add in the egg, vanilla. I used a sugar substitute, erythritol, and just a tablespoon of brown sugar for that kind of thicker brown sugar molasses taste. Cinnamon. and stir everything super well together. And then in a separate small bowl, make sure you put in all the dry ingredients. So let's put in the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and pop in the salt as well. The deceiving thing about dry ingredients is that you actually need to mix it super, super well. And every time that I don't, don't, taking the extra time to stir it, I find that I can actually taste the salt granules, so make sure you do give it a really solid whisk. From here, pop in the wet mixture that you had, so that mixed banana mixture. And instead of using butter, I just popped in maybe about a tablespoon, actually not even a lot, maybe it's maybe just a little bit of oil. So use a neutral oil of your choice. I just did olive oil, but feel free to use anything else. And all you need to do now is mix everything super well together and then put it into a standard loaf pan. So a nine by five inch pan would work perfectly and then mix everything in there. And all you have to do now is just bake it at 350 degrees in the oven for about 30 to maybe 40 minutes. What I do is I just pop in a little toothpick in it so it helps me really understand if it's cooked through or not. And the hard part is just waiting it for it to cool down before you can eat and then you can enjoy. And these are the macros for the banana loaf here. And I'm gonna list everything below uh, in the description box as well, kind of walking you through uh, the recipes. All right, recipe number two. So these super low calorie, 37 calorie brownies. So let's get down to business. All right, so what we need to do first is literally just blend everything together in a big blender so we don't have to worry about it. So grab whatever you have. I just have this like, uh, bullet? Nope, Ninja? Anyways, one of that. And the first ingredient that we need is Greek yogurt. Yes, I had to smell it because I don't know if it's good or not. So let's pop in, I'm just using this zero fat Greek yogurt here. Um, just use whatever you have, but preferably non-fat because that can really help reduce some of the calories there. So we'll do three fourth cups. Oh, well, that might be all I have. Yes, feel free to drop your spoon in there to save time. Then you're gonna need a quarter cup of skim milk, but I'm just using non-dairy milk, so I'm using almond milk from Costco because it shit's good. 
And then, then I'm gonna pop in some of these baking cocoa or cacao. I uh, need about half a cup of that. And then I'm doing half a cup of the sugar substitute. I use Anthony's Natural Erythritol sweetener. It's literally, it's really my favorite artificial sweetener, I guess. Um, because it tastes just so much like sugar and it doesn't have that weird artificial sugar taste like Truvia or Stevia or maybe I just don't taste it personally but it is my favorite so I 100% recommend using this but the sugar to erythritol ratio isn't one to one um, you need a little bit more erythritol to get the same amount of sugar as regular sugar so I'm gonna put in maybe a little bit more than half a cup of this and a lot what you need now half a cup of old-fashioned oats the one I use is just this big quick oats from Costco because you know more bang for your bug oh I could have just shown this too I didn't know there was a label there too so do half a cup of this so we need a pinch of salt I'm just using this one it's Himalayan pink salt so a pinch of salt that should be enough a teaspoon of baking powder that's in French we we'll show you this side you need one egg, so we'll pop one egg in the blender here. All right, players, let's start blending. What you need to do is just pour that entire mixture into a baking pan. I only have one of these guys. Um, you can use the square ones. Just gonna use what you have. Um, I'm just gonna use this, grease it up, and pour in the remainder of the mixture. So this is what it looks like in a pan. started into the last recipe. So the last one is going to be the super delicious chocolate mug cake and it's just super easy to make just straight in your microwave. So let's get us started to do that one. So what you'll need first is a mug. And what I'm using is a super awesome clear cup. Um, it's from Lily but it's just literally my favorite mug that I use. Doesn't matter. Grease this up first. I'm using Trader Joe's coconut oil spray. Use anything that you have. Quick spray in here. Awesome, that's good enough. Now add in two tablespoons of flour. And I'm gonna add in half a tablespoon of the cocoa here. quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Just do a little pinch of salt because it's just in the mug. Make sure it is really, really smooth. Really, just a pinch. Just put in a teaspoon of oil of sorts. I'm just gonna use olive oil here. A tiny bit of vanilla extract. And then, last but not least, two tablespoons of assorted milk. Um, I'm just gonna use almond milk. Feel free to use any other non-dairy milk or even just dairy milk. Not bad for you. And if you wanted, you can put in chocolate chips in here as well, but again, I don't wanna do that. So give all of this a really good mix here. Alright, 
So put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds first. Um, so I would say the hardest part about this recipe is making sure you're getting it right in terms of timing in your microwave. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. I'm just not going to the world. Pop it in. We'll do 40 seconds first. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. These are snacks that I just eat all the time and I've just been making it a lot because I just, who doesn't have a serious chocolate craving all the time? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I want YouTube to bless me with their algorithm and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more as well. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.